In this lesson, we're going to learn a very important rudiment called the flam. We're going to learn how to play an etude on two drums, learn how to count dotted half notes in quarter time, and learn how to count sixteenth notes in eight time. Before you get into all of the things that are involved in this lesson, make sure you turn to page number 76 and check the progress uh, chart so that you're working on the correct exercises and rudiments at the correct tempos for this lesson. Along the same lines, break down a single rudiment each day playing it with a metronome at 60 beats a minute, then 65, then 70, and really isolating and focusing your attention on one single rudiment every single day so that you can perfect them at the tempos that we have marked. Now we're going to learn the flam. The flam, if you look at your rudiment chart, you're going to see a whole family of flam exercises, or flam rudiments. We start off with the basic, which we're going to learn today, called the flam then you see a whole bunch of other rudiments that depend on you being able to play perfect flams. So if you can't play perfect flams, then you can't play any of those rudiments. That's how important this is. Let me describe what a flam is. Basically, I have a combination of a soft note called the grace note and a primary stroke, which is the loud note. When I hit those two strokes together, the soft and the loud at the same time, it produces a flam. Now a flam is named for what it sounds like. Flam. Flam. Practice saying that to yourself a few times and you get what the flam should sound like. Now these are the steps that I go through to teach my students how to play great sounding flams. First, we want to start off with the left stick right next to the drum, about an inch, and just play grace notes. Now a grace note is quite a bit different than a tap stroke. Remember a tap stroke is played into the drum with a three inch stroke using a full wrist stroke, okay, or, or a soft wrist stroke. The tap is played at one inch and is as soft as you can play it. So quite a bit different than the tap. So those are grace notes. Then what I try to do is play the grace note and the primary stroke at the same time. Now think about this concept for a second. If I have two tennis balls, one down here and one up here, and I drop them both at the same time, the one that's low is going to hit the drum first. It's going to go like that, correct? And it's going to produce the perfect sounding flam. So actually playing a flam is very simple. And if you start off with your sticks in the right position and you try to hit the drum at the same time, the grace note is always going to hit first because it's close to the drum. Then you can play perfect sounding flams. Here's what I have, an exercise that I have my students do is do two grace notes followed by a right hand flam. Notice each one of them sounds like fa fa flam, fa fa flam. And this is something that's very important that you think about when you're learning the flam is the spacing between the grace note and the primary stroke. Students will often play bad flams because of that spacing gets either too wide or too narrow. For instance, if I go fa 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 lam, fa 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 lam, this is what that looks like. And you see that all the time with students. That is not one stroke, it's actually two different strokes. Fa lamb. Or if I put them so close together, they actually are right on top of each other. And I call these pops. That's a very common problem among students. So we want to make sure that it consistent spacing between the grace note and the primary stroke. Fa, fa, fa lamb. Fa, fa, fa lamb. Fa, there you have perfect sounding flams. Now, here's uh, uh, something else I do with my students that often helps them with their grace notes is to put my right hand on my leg next to the drum.
When I'm playing perfect sounding flams, all of my grace notes should sound exactly the same. And you see this a lot of time from students. They'll lift the grace note and play both strokes at the same height. So, want to practice those grace notes staying very low. A lot of times I'll put my stick over the top of my student's hand so that they're not allowed to bring that grace note any higher than an inch. So, at this point what I want you to do is stop the video and practice just that on the right hand and the left hand. until you can make consistent sounding flams every single time. This might take a couple of days, so be patient with yourself, stop the video, and work on just that exercise. Right hand flams and left hand flams. Next, we're going to take that same exercise we did before, but this time we're going to alternate between the hands. So in this case what I'm doing is on that last grace note I'm playing it as an upstroke. Just like that. Putting the hands together this is what it'll look like. Then I'm ready to do it on the opposite hand. So every single time my flams sound perfectly. Do that for a couple of days until you can play great sounding alternating flams with those extra grace notes. Then take out the extra grace notes. What you're left with is perfect sounding flams every single time. This is very difficult and you should not rush the process. Make sure that you take a few days on the first exercise, then a few days on the next one, and then finally we're playing great sounding flams. If your, if your flams sound like fa lambs, or if they sound like pops, then you're doing something incorrectly and you need to stop and train your muscles how to do it perfectly every single time. In our next video lesson, we're going to learn how to play an etude on two drums.